No, uh, it does not translate. It does not translate at all. And I only really began to understand this better as I was making my own attempts to memorize certain passages in the book on the Gagan text in Arabic. Right? Where I assume there are English versions. Yeah, there are. Right. Yeah, yeah, in multiple different languages. Um, yeah. Other questions? The, the chanting, is that a uh, standard tune? There are rules that govern recitation. Have any of you studied, those of you who have memorized the Quran, have you studied the, the rules of recitation? Maybe you could say a little yeah. bit more about that. Yeah, no, we studied it at the Azhar University, it's an Islamic university in Cairo. We started from like elementary school until I graduated. So we had to study Tajweed, which is how to pronounce stuff. Sometimes you, you combine two letters in one letter, and there are a lot of rules. You elongate phrases, yeah, and, yeah, phrases. and, and yeah. Vuna, right? Vuna, right? Vuna, emphasize nasalization. So there are different techniques and rules that you have to learn. A way to, to, to recite it. And I probably, you, you were very kind to not correct me. Um, uh, I appreciate your, your forbearance. Um, but, you know, anybody who recites the Quran must recite it properly, right? And so there are rules governing how you do it. And does that equate to the tune? That's not the right word. Yeah, I mean, there are certain ways, I mean, the, um, there is a, a, a distinction between Murat al-Mujawid styles of recitation, right? So one will be more elaborate, uh, tuneful, if you will. Um, others will be more sort of straightforward recitation styles. Um, so there are different ways to, to render it. Um, there's been, been a big debate, is Quranic recitation such weird music? And, um, to, to somebody who's not tuned into that debate, they will say, yeah, it sounds musical, right? Um, but Muslims are very clear about the distinction. The recitation of the Quran is not music. It is something that is done um, as part of the sacred act of rendering the Quran. Uh, form. Um, music is associated with things that are profane, uh, not of, of that which is associated with the sacred. Is there a corollary reading out loud of I'm sorry. Is there corollary? a corollary in the reading out loud of the Torah as far as sounds and things like that? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, um, you know I don't know. Um, it's the same sort of premium placed on the recitation. Well, it's interesting. It's an interesting question because the Torah, um, the rabbis speak of, of, of the oral law, the law existing in, in its oral form, right? And in a sense, um, almost being equal to or more authoritative than you know, the actual text itself. Um, in that sense of the emphasis on morality, yes, there's a parallel. Well, I thank everybody for coming. I'm sorry to cut you off, but you had a very interesting presentation. Um, we have the room for another half an hour. There are still refreshments in the back. Um, and I hope that people will take a few minutes to, um, to speak with uh, Dr. Blackheart. Give a gift for you from the library here at this appropriately bookmark. <laughs> <laughs> and also just a copy of the, the poster that we have. Thank, thank you. So much. And I wanted to say also <laughs> Thank you. I also wanted to thank Eileen and Tim and the others on the diversity community here at the at the library. We put a lot of work into this of that publicity and uh, in other ways that have been really enjoyed to work with. And the fact that they wanted, they were the ones who suggested that we focus on, do a, do a lecture series on this one, um, I think really speaks to their desire to um, you know, promote uh, understanding of diverse cultures and religions. And uh, they're to be congratulated. Thank you. More on the culture of Islam, and he'll be focusing on Islam in Africa. So I encourage you to come back a week from today and, and hear a little bit more about this very interesting religion. Before you go, could you tell us about the handout? Oh, I'm interested. That's. Uh,